Hello and welcome, and thank you for joining today's class. My name is Darren, and I am glad to have you here. Every first class, no matter the level of the student, I like to try the same lesson. I think it is the most effective for building confidence and creating a lasting relationship. So today's class, the title is It's Nice to Meet You. Today we are going to learn and use 15 super easy basic conversation questions. Today we are going right back to the very beginning and learning how to meet new people for the very first time. So we're going to learn easy questions and easy answers and then we're going to use these answers to help create and practice our self-introduction. And then we'll move on to trying to introduce other people. So of course, the easiest word in any language is always the greeting. Like in Korean, you would say, Annyeonghaseyo, with a bow. But in English, we tend to say, hello, or hi, or hey. And usually, like in Korean, we would say maybe, Bangabsamida, Bangaboyo. In English, we would say, it's nice to meet you. So in English, usually a handshake is very, very important. Good strong handshake, eye contact with a happy face, and then you've made a friend for life. Okay? So try it with yourself or try it with your friend. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Super easy, now you're best friends. First question I would usually ask a new friend and I think in most cultures, this is one of the first questions we ask. First question I would ask in English is, what's your name? Or in Korean, Irimimoeyo. So in English style, uh, our family name comes last. So I would say, my name is Darren Flett. My name is Darren Flett. Where in Korean style, maybe your family name would be first. My name is Pak Ji Sung. My name is Moon Jae In. Okay, family name is first. But it's okay, either is good when you're introducing yourself in Korean. You don't need to have an English name. We can understand your Korean names, no problem. So please, ask your friend or ask your family members if you are home. What's your name? And see if they can speak good English. Probably second question I would ask a new friend is, Where are you from? So for me, we always use the city first, or maybe the town or village, and then the country. So I can say I am from Aberdeen in Scotland. So you could say I'm from Suwon in South Korea. Okay? Try with your friend. So a little bit about Scotland. Scotland is part of the UK. The UK is four countries. It's England, Wales, and Northern Ireland. And then Scotland is the furthest north of the four countries. So we can compare and contrast uh, our two nations. Scotland and Korea are roughly the same size. However, Korea has 10 times the population. Korea's population is around 50 million. Okay? 50 million. While Scotland's population is 5 million. So what are these numbers in Korean? 50 million and 5 million. In the pictures you can see and uh, a little bit about our culture. So in Korea, of course, you guys wear hanboks for weddings. In Scotland, you can see in the top right hand picture, our traditional dress is a, called a kilt. A kilt is like a skirt or chima, where men wear it for traditional events like uh, weddings. And of course, when the Scottish man wears a skilt, he wears no panties. So when I got married, I wore a kilt. And of course, no panties. Your traditional drink of choice in Korea is of course soju. In my country, whiskey is the most famous national dish. National drink, sorry. The national dish, you can see in the bottom left hand corner, is called haggis. Haggis is similar to Korean sundae. So it is made of uh, yangogi sheep, 
intestines and sheep's stomach and sheep's heart together with a lovely seasoning. If you like Sunde, you would like haggis. Scotland, and you can see in the two pictures, one in the bottom corner is the Harry Potter Railway and in the left hand side is Edinburgh Castle. Scotland is always dark, rainy and green. So Korea always says Korea has four seasons in one year. Scotland has four seasons in one day. We never know what the weather is going to be like. Okay, so that's a little bit about Scotland. We'll talk more about that in the future. After you know where someone is from, you could ask this question, maybe Chibio uh, Deo, like where do you live or where is your house? So we know you live in maybe the city of Suwon, but Suwon is a big place. So which area of Suwon do you live in? So I could say this in English. I say I live in Gwonsondong in Suwon. So Gwonsondong is the dong or the area of the city. So I live in Gwonsondong. Okay? I live in Gwonsondong in Suwon. You can say if you are super rich, I live in Gangnam in Seoul. You can say I live in Songdo in Incheon. Okay? So try with your friends. Where do you live? Next question I would ask would be Musen il haseo. Musen il haseo in Korean. In English, what do you do or what is your job? So most of you guys are students. Student is not really a job because you don't really get paid. But you can still ask the question. So if you meet a new friend, you can ask this. What do you do? You can answer in three parts. You can say, I'm a student. So that's part one. Where? At Dongnam Health University, part two. And then part three, my major is blah, blah, blah. So let's repeat. My, uh, what do you do? Answer would be, I'm a student at Dongnam Health University. My major is nursing. I'm a student at Dongnam Health University. My major is occupational therapy. I'm a student at Dongnam Health University. My major is air tourism. Okay, so what do you do? Very important. Next question in Korea may be the most important question you can ask. Very, very complicated for foreigners when they first come to Korea to understand this. So, Myoselio, uh, how old are you? How old are you? So, foreigners, Weguks. We are one year younger than Korean people. We count from zero, not from one. So in Weguk age, I am 38 years old. I am 38 years old. But in Korea age, maybe you can say I'm 39 or even 40 years old. Okay, so tell me how old you are. If two people are the same age and you still want to know who is oldest, Maybe you could use this question. When is your birthday? When is your birthday? So in my style, I would usually answer like this. My birthday is on the day, then the month, then the year. So my birthday is on the 12th. 12th, okay? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. My birthday is on the 12th of April, so you can remember uh, the song you learned in Orinichib maybe. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, blah blah blah. Okay, so my birthday is on the 12th of April and then the year. So I'm 38 years old, so I would say I was born in 1981. 1981. But you guys are usually freshmen, so you guys are usually maybe... 19 if you are a little baby, 19 years old, 20 years old, 21. So you are probably born in 2000, 2001 or maybe 1999, okay? The question is, when's your birthday? My birthday is on the 12th of April, 1981. Next question. So this is some more personal questions. So you can ask personal questions when you're making a good friend. I would ask maybe this question, tell me about your family. So tell me about your family is usually about your brothers and your sisters. So I would answer something like this, I have two younger brothers and no sisters. 
But because I am old, maybe you could ask this question, are you married? So I could say, yes, I am married. You could ask another question, do you have any children? And I could answer, yes, I have one son and one daughter. You could also ask, uh, maybe, do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? Are you single? Okay, you could ask all these personal style questions if the other person you think feels comfortable. Next question I would ask when you make a good friend. In Korean you could say maybe Musin Chimichu say What are your favorite hobbies? What are your favorite hobbies? So when we talk about our favorite, you can see you know my style. I am Yongguk English style. Look at the favorite spelling. Favorite in Yongguk English style is O U. Okay? O U. Miguk English like you learned. Favorite has no U. Okay? So sometimes Miguk English and Yongguk English a little bit different. So what are your favorite hobbies? So when we talk about hobbies, we use the verb. Example, to play, to shop, to run, to eat. And then we use plus ing. So like cooking, traveling, shopping, watching, playing. Okay? So I would say something basic like my favorite hobbies are cooking, traveling, Playing soccer, watching movies, listening to music, shopping, exercising, running, drinking. Okay? Think about that. So, verb plus ing. What are your favorite hobbies? My favorite hobbies are cooking, traveling, or playing soccer. Similar style question if you've made a good friend. Maybe Musanumchek Chuaseo. What are your favorite foods? For me, again, Basic style question, my answer would be my favorite foods are, say maybe, kare, pizza, and then you can use Korean food, but you can write it in English and you can say it in English. So you could say something like, gamja tang, sam gap sal, he jang okay? So, what are your favorite foods? My favorite foods are pizza, hamburgers, fried chicken, and of course, chimek, okay? So what are your favorite foods? Maybe another question you want to ask your friend is maybe something about their future plans or hopes or wishes for the future. So you could ask a question like this, what is your dream? What is your hope for the future? So a basic answer in this case would be, my dream is to be a good father. My dream is to be happy and healthy. My dream is to be rich. My dream is to travel the world. My dream is to marry a handsome doctor. My dream is to buy an apartment in Gangnam. Okay, so there's many different things. It could be about your life or your work. It doesn't have to be true, but we have something to aim for in the future. So you've made a good friend. You want to keep in contact. You can ask many different questions these days thanks to technology. The easiest one, of course, is phone number. We could say, what is your phone number? My phone number is blah, blah, blah. In Korean, you say, my phone number is Gong Yil Gong. So in English, Gong Yil Gong is 010. So this is my real phone number. My phone number is 010-2822-2453. Okay? So you can ask your friend, what is your phone number? But you could also, these days, you could also ask, what is your cacao? What is your... WhatsApp, what is your Instagram, what is your Facebook, what is your line, oh, so many ways of keeping in contact, okay? But the easiest and most common way is what is your phone number? If you want to maybe send an email to someone, you could ask the question, what is your email? And of course, in Korean, you've got Golbengi. Golbengi is at in English and jum is dot. So you could say my email address is darrenflett at hotmail.com. My email address is darrenflett at neighbor.com. Okay? At and dot. So many ways to keep in contact. In university, sometimes they'll ask what is your hackbon or what is your student ID number? What is your student ID number? 
or maybe you have your resident card, your resident ID number for maybe going to the hospital, for instance, or maybe your passport number when you buy airline tickets. Okay, so that is 15 basic questions. We've learned them, we've mastered the answers, and we're going to use them. So quick recap, of course we have the basic greeting, hello, hi, remember, happy face, eye contact, maybe shake hands, and of course, bangawayo, it's nice to meet you. So hello, nice to meet you. First question I would always ask is, what's your name? Then I go into, where are you from? Where do you live? How old are you? What do you do? When's your birthday? Tell me about your family. What are your favorite hobbies? What are your favorite foods? What is your dream? What is your phone number? What is your Facebook page? What is your Instagram address? What is your Kakao ID? What is your student ID? Lots of questions like that. Okay? So these questions are the most basic conversation questions in English, but they are the most important because they are the ones you will use so many times in your life in so many different situations meeting new friends and meeting people for the first time okay so please try and memorize these questions and answers and that will really help build your confidence in English okay so our first task today is introducing ourselves so a basic introduction we can use those questions and answers we just learned and we can put them together to form a basic introduction. So here's my little introduction. You don't have to copy this style, but your assignment and homework for this week will be to record a smartphone video with your own self-introduction. So please write it first. You can read your writing if you wish, but it's more important to be natural. Try and memorize it and practice a few times. So here is my self-introduction. I would start, of course, with the greeting. Hello, let me introduce myself. My name is Darren Flett, and I am 38 years old, and I am from Scotland in the UK. I have lived in Suwon for 15 years. I currently live in Gwonsondong. I have an MBA, and I work as an English teacher. My birthday is the 12th of April, 1981. Uh, I have two younger brothers and no sisters. I have been married for 10 years and I have one son and one daughter. My favorite hobbies are cooking, reading, traveling and playing and watching soccer. My favorite foods are Indian curry, pizza, gamjatang and chimek. I have traveled to 75 countries and my dream is to be a good father. Okay, so there was a quick basic one minute introduction. So have a try. Write it down first, memorize, and then see if you can do it maybe two or three times. And then I think by the fourth attempt, you can do it all in one shot. Some ideas if you want to try your own style instead of copy mine. There's other things you can say. Quick bullet points, you can say like, hi, my name is, I come from, I live in. You could talk about your age, your family, you could tell them you're a student, you could say my major is or I'm majoring in, my favorite subject at university or my favorite subject at high school was, talk about hobbies, you could talk about your free times, your likes, your dislikes, your hates, your favorite food and drink, maybe your best movies, entertainment things like dramas or TV shows or uh, podcast, computer games, anything like that. And then you can tell me maybe why you study English or what you think about studying English. Maybe you could tell me why you want to introduce yourself. Maybe you could tell me what you hope to learn from this class or what you hope to learn from university. And maybe you can tell me a little bit more uh, personal information, maybe some happiest memory or special achievement from your life. Something that will help me remember you in the future. Because this is what this introduction is. This introduction helps me and your friends remember who you are. Okay? 
So this is the main point of this self-introduction. This is to help us get to know each other and feel comfortable with each other. Okay, so for Sukje, I want you to make two short one minute videos on your smartphone, okay? Introduce yourself in the first one, and then in the second one, I want you to introduce someone famous, maybe your hero, like a BTS member, or a famous soccer player like Son Yun Min, or it could be your father, or it could be your best friend. But introduce yourself and one other person. So please make two short one minute videos, okay? And then when we begin class, we can upload those to our private class Facebook page, okay? So that'll be homework for our first class. Okay, so when we introduce someone else, we need to know their basic information. So if it was your friend in class, you would have used that 15 questions to find out a little bit about them. So I'll do a little self introduction for these guys. I'll introduce to you someone famous. So the first guy, of course, is Suwon's most famous man, I think. So let me introduce Park Ji Sung. He is Korean. He is from Suwon in Gyeonggi-do. These days, he lives in Manchester, England. He was a retired footballer. No, he is a retired footballer. He was a footballer. Yes, yes, yes. These days, Park Ji Sung is a student. He's a little bit younger than me. He is 38, but a little bit younger than me. His birthday was on the 11th of August, 1981. So he lives in Mangpodong, and he has two younger brothers. He's an old athlete, so he really likes healthy food. His favorite hobbies are playing StarCraft, golfing, and hiking. So his dream is to graduate university. But I think he's nearly finished anyway. And then, of course, we have America's president, Mr. Donald Trump. Of course, he is from America. He lives in Washington, D.C., in the United States of America. His job is the President of the United States. He is 73 years old. He was born on the 14th of June, 1946. He is remarried and he has uh, one son. And he has two sons from his divorced ex-wife and one daughter. His favorite food, of course, is all McDonald's food. Things like hamburgers. And of course, his favorite hobbies are golf. Uh, he loves shooting and entrepreneurship, making business and stocks, things like that. His dream is, of course, to make America great again and now to keep America great again. Okay, so please, for your Sup J homework video, introduce yourself and introduce someone else. It could be someone famous, could be your best friend or one member of your family. Okay, so for homework two one minute videos and then when we first meet we can upload those videos to our Facebook private page okay so thank you very much for joining me today uh, it's a little bit strange doing online lectures because you know conversation classes like this really have to be done face to face so we can practice the questions together and do little role plays and acting scenarios when we can use these questions in real life situations. But it'll have to do for just now. So try and use these questions, maybe practice with your family. These questions will help build confidence using English for meeting people for the first time. And then of course, your self-introduction. Your self-introduction, you will do this many times in your life, especially your first day in university, maybe when you go for a new job or when you join a dongari. Self-introductions are very, very important. And I use smartphone videos to help build confidence. The first few times you try and do these videos, they are going to be uh, terrible. You're going to feel very uncomfortable. You'll feel very shy. It is not a good feeling listening to your voice or seeing your face. But after some practice, 
please trust me, it really, really gets a lot better. And over the course of the last 10 years, I found that this is the best method for building your confidence in English. And really, it helps me get to know you and it helps the class also get to know you. And it makes people feel a little bit more comfortable when we know about each other. We're all in this together. There is no outsiders. We're all friends. If you're in this class, you have to do it. Failure to do these homework videos, you get an F. So everybody has to do it. And like I said before, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Okay? Don't be scared. If you are scared, you'll get a low score. I want to see you having fun, talking English with a happy face. Okay? Thanks very much, guys. Have a great day. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.